So, <clears throat> first of all, why weightlifting derivatives? Why are we going to look at the derivatives? There's loads of exercises that we can look at. You've only got to think of all the squat variations, and you'll get some weightlifting purists that will say, no, we should just do, do the full lift all the time. Um, problem is, some people can't do the full lift. Uh, unless you're an Olympic weightlifter, a lot of people haven't got the competence. Some have, which is brilliant, then let's do it. But there's a range of different methods of increasing uh, both strength and power. If we look at the traditional strength training lifts, and Dr. Baker mentioned this uh, yesterday morning, there's a deceleration phase. At submaximal loads, around about 50% of the range of motion, you're actually decelerating. Because if you didn't, if you continued to impart adequate force and you accelerated throughout the entire range, you'd end up jumping. Most athletes don't like jumping with 80, 90% of 1RM one, one on their shoulders for obvious reasons. So there is a deceleration phase there, which has a limitation. And that deceleration phase occurs during the final part of the range of motion, which is where we try and generate high forces when we're jumping, sprinting, etc. <clears throat> we can use ballistic training. Why not do heavy squat jumps, counter movement jumps? You can. We're not saying you shouldn't do them. But again, you've got that issue that you're landing with a very heavy load on your shoulders. It may be a hex bar jump, so you're landing with it here. And we'll look a little bit at the landing forces later on. So there are different components you can do, but you also have to consider some of the safety aspects of it. Weightlifting derivatives take a lot of competence. If you're just looking at this picture over here, how many athletes can really perform a snatch competently with near maximal loads like that? If you've got weightlifters that you work with, yes, of course they can. But if you work with multiple other sports, some may have the competence, then you've got a range of athletes, they've had shoulder injuries, especially rugby league, rugby union players, there's no way they're getting in this position, they can't get in this position, so we have to have other variations to make the most out of that rapid extension of hip, knee and ankle so that we eliminate that deceleration phase. 